Hello YouTube, it's Jim Chapman, American Air Gun Hunter. I'm in North Texas, about 30 miles, 30 miles northwest of, uh, of Abilene. And uh, I've been on a, a long hunting trip, been gone for about 11 or 12 days now. And I'm a little bit worn out, but I got an invite on the way up here to come out to, uh, I think, a unique operation. And I want to talk more about it later. But I'm at the TM Exotic and Whitetail Ranch. And uh, the owner, Tyler Motre, um, offers a, a, a great service. He opens this up to veterans, active serving and, uh, and veterans uh, that, uh, that might not get a chance to hunt otherwise. And he opens up the ranch and makes these hunts available to him. So he invited me up to come and meet some of the guys, talk to them, get out there and do some hunting. And I just couldn't pass that up. So I'm going to, I'm going to man up and I'm going to get out here and I'm going to last another two days before I get uh, on the homeward journey. Uh, it's been a great hunt so far, but this one I'm really looking forward to. I, uh, I don't hunt a lot of exotics uh, anymore. I used to, and that's all we were allowed to hunt with air guns. But now with deer opening up and big game, I'm, I'm starting to branch out a bit more. I have been for the last 10 years or so, but there are certain exotics I'll go out of my way to hunt and the ones that I really love to hunt really come down to three fallow deer black buck and to me the holy grail which is the owdad which is it's as close to a bighorn sheep hunt as I'll ever get to uh, at any rate I uh, I can't uh, can't wait to get out there I arrived at the lodge while everyone was still out on their morning hunt and took the time to move my gear in and get set up these were comfortable digs, with mementos full of meaning left by the many active and retired military that have visited. When the guys got back, we introduced ourselves and headed off to the range. I zeroed the 308 at 50 yards, wanting to shoot at archery range. I figured five in the 10 ring at 50 yards, we were good to go. Owdad or Barbary sheep are originally from North Africa and are big, tough game animals. They stand about uh, three feet at the shoulder and can weigh up to over 300 pounds. Besides the exotics, there's some nice whitetail on the ranch as well. My rifle on this hunt was the Air Force Texan 308. This gun had the barrel cut down and recrowned and a suppressor mounted. This caliber is on the light side for such a heavy, tough animal, so I decided on a headshot. I looked at the anatomy illustrations online and decided on shot placement. I thought base of skull would work, but I was worried about a frontal shot because the skull looked pretty thick up front. I've got the rifles and carbines in 257, 308, 357, and 457. Depending on what you're hunting, the Texan is one of the best big bore hunting rifles on the market. The original plan for this hunt was to use a custom 457 prototype I was testing, but I had a failure, so my 308 had to fill in. Several bullet manufacturers cast bullets specifically for the Texan. I've had a lot of success with the Aero Magnums. We're going to get set, we're going to get out there. Uh, the way we're going to hunt these, we're going to glass, we're going to look for them out in the area and we're going to put on a stock. We tried, honestly, we tried to uh, set up a blind, but we weren't getting the, uh, the outdad coming into blinds. They often don't come to come into uh, to feeders, so we decided to, to, to do some spotting out of the, the Jeep, drive around, look at them, glass the area, find them and put on a stock. So let's get on with it, we'll see how it goes. We started in a blind over a feeder. There wasn't much action until three rams came in. Unfortunately, they were younger and smaller than what I was looking for. We left the blind and drove and glassed until we spotted a ram in the flats, then headed off on foot.
I hiked up and found my big ram down where I'd hit him. The Texan did it again for me. I was really glad I'd held back to look for a bigger ram. The Air Force Texan, and I have several of them, are great big bore hunting rifles. The inline valve system, side lever cocking mechanism, and excellent trigger provide accuracy and lots of power on tap. I use a 109 grain Stinger HP bullet from Aero Magnum, which are specifically designed for the Texan. The gun bullet combo as I have it set up generates about 170 foot pounds of energy. There are no handles. <laughs> I say 200. It's all there. Sure. We got back to the ranch and Tyler gave a master class in dressing out a ram. He had this ram dressed and quartered faster than I could unsheath my knife. So I'm wrapping up my hunt here at TM Exotics in Whitetail and I had a great hunt. Um, you've seen everything that I did with the guys uh, out from Pay it, uh, Operation Pay It Forward. And uh, I, as I said, when I was with them, great group of guys to have hunted with. And we took a lot of different game. There once before, there are three exotics I, I really had on my list, which was the, the fallow, the black buck, and an outad. So um, last year we got the, uh, the, the black buck and we got the fallow. And today I took the, uh, the outad and it was great. You know, we got up on it. Um, there were four of them bedded down that we, we saw one of the ones bedded down, but there are three we didn't see. And there was one that you saw they'd come up I was looking around, got into position, uh, sat down off my sticks. Um, I was using my Air Force 308, which is a light rifle for, a, for a, uh, an animal like a, a Barbary sheep or an outad. So I, uh, I dropped the uh, crosshairs right on the back of his head, and uh, I was at about 40 yards, and the gun sighted in at 50. So I held pretty much dead on and uh, squeezed off the trigger. Took him in the back of the head. He just dropped. He went down uh, immediately. Didn't didn't run. Didn't move at all. So you, you gotta love it when a, a plan comes together. Um, so again, I think you know if I had have had the uh, the big bore, the 457 I originally intended to use, I might have taken a body shot just to see how how it worked. If I could break him down on a shoulder shot, or I would have done a heart lung. But because of the 308, I figured a, uh, a brain shot was probably going to be the best way to put him down. And we had looked at the. Uh, different charts. I saw that I could take a, a side shot and where it would go. I saw where I could get the neck at the base of the spine and I looked at the rear where, where the best uh, um, point of impact would be uh, from a, a going away shot. And that's the one that it presented. And as you saw, he came out, he looked around, he, he was there for a long time and, and let me get set up. But just when I was getting ready to, uh, to shoot, he made a move forward and it looked like he was getting ready to, uh, to bolt. I thought he was on his way out. Uh, so I took that uh, opportunity, took the shot, he went down, uh, everything came together, it worked out perfectly. So, anyway, another hunting adventure. I'm wrapping up 12 days of, of being on the road hunting. I'm wiped out, I'm ready to go home right now, but it's been great and this was a great way to cap it off. Um, you love it when a plan comes together. Uh, do me a favor, if you like these videos, these road trips and these, these hunting videos, um, let me know. If you think that the length that I've made this one, it's a little bit longer than my normal videos, let me know if you think it's the, the right length in the, uh, the comments. But if you like the video, give it a like, give it a share, appreciate that. And if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, it'll be a, one of these places.